Hi everybody, how's it going? Today is February 15th, 2024. It is a Thursday. You know what that means? Monster Strike news. And of course, we got a good chunk of the news over with on Sunday for the Mon Party 9th anniversary event for the YouTube channel being set up. So we've just got the little details of the actual collab to go over today. So without further ado, let's get going. Uh, as you know, the collab for Gundam Seed Freedom will be starting on the 16th of February. That is tomorrow noon. Japan time is when it kicks off. So go ahead and get ready to gacha for your favorite Gundam characters. Um, and of course, with a collab, well, we've already gone through the gacha monsters. Look at the previous news video if you haven't seen that already uh, for those details. But we did not know about the paid pack monster. Uh, and it looks like for volume 2, we will be getting Mu and Akatsuki here uh, in this brilliant gold outfit. Outfit? Sheen? I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, don't forget that these paid packs are just a thousand yen. You guarantee yourself this special monster. This is the only way you can get this monster by paying actual money for it. You also get all of the items there on the right. So very useful for people who are just starting out in the game and don't have the proper materials to evolve various characters uh, or upgrade them to their max. So if you're just starting and you don't mind spending a little money, this, and of course, if you love Gundam, not a bad idea. Not paid for by mixing. Uh, so let's take a look at, look, let's take a closer look at this character, Mu and Akatsuki. Um, he is a robot balance bounce type monster. His ability is Super Mind, Super L, Anti-Magic Circle, Super Laser Stop. On his gauge, we have Super Anti-Speed Down Wall and Counter Killer. Strike Shot Speed and Power Up, and for a set amount of turns, he will protect teammates. Basically, it's like, I think it's just like a barrier style um, effect. So they'll just, after a certain uh, amount of damage taken, then damage will start going through again. Uh, bump combos, and oh, I didn't update the colors properly. It is the Super Round Spark and Super Glow Sphere. And as is always the case with these Panvac monsters, which I think Mixie does a great job in doing, is that they are good, they are not amazing. So it's not something that anybody needs to have, but is always nice to have. And so that's why you can always say that if you like this collab, then it doesn't really matter. Just buy it. It is worth it for the character, for the love of whatever anime you like. It is worth its money just for that, you know, satisfaction of having something that you love outside of Monster Strike. But for those of you who don't care, and saying, like, ah, do I want to do it? It's really not going to make a huge difference for you, to be honest. So only get it if you really like it. If there really is an exception, I'll make sure to uh, call out to the wild. But uh, in general, they always hover around the generic 7.5 rating. And for those of you who are around the first time for Gundam, you can also pick back up the old paid pack monster uh, featuring Hero Yui and uh, Wing Gundam Zero EW Bond. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I did not translate that into English. I did translate some other names, which was uh, surprisingly harder than usual. Uh, but if you weren't around, or actually if you were around, it really doesn't matter. You can buy this again, so you get that opportunity to have a uh, paid pack monster at 10 luck potentially, or two copies of it. Um, again, generally not necessary. Uh, there are no buffs announced for this character either. So uh, it's just up to you if you like the collab. Another thousand yen for this. Now let's take a look at the event monsters for the new Gundam collab. We've got Shura, Agnes, and Shiva, and Gyan Storm. Sorry, Gyan Strom. Uh, as I assume those would be the Gundams in the back, and Shura and Agnes are in front. Um, the, that's your fire element uh, event monster. You've got for water, we got Daniel and Rudra. And I was quite impressed with how you spell that. I'm not sure if that's the exact way in the uh, US or Americanized version or English version of it. Uh, but I saw a you know, website with it in English. So I was like, all right, let's take that and put it here. So hopefully it's correct. If not, let me know in the comments. Uh, the third. Uh, event monster for the collab will feature Griffin and Rudora there. And we also have even more Rudora, right? Like we've got uh, Redelard, 
and Rudora in light, and we've got Liu and Rudora in the dark element. Those two will be your four five star monsters for the event. And so you see those five events in total will be available for the duration of the collab. One of them will be a daily 24 seven quest uh, for a six star direct drop. Uh, two of them, uh, the last two will be your four five star monsters and the other two just look at your schedule to figure out when you can play them. And for those of you who want to go back and clear the uh, old stages, you can do that again in the library. If you missed out on max lucking them, this is your opportunity to do it. And remember, everybody gets the opportunity to clear these stages one more time you get one orb for clearing these even if you did it before so do not forget to pick up five orbs by just blasting through these old stages and of course it's not a collab with an insidious quest uh for this time we've got orfe ingrid and kalula there as your insidious this insidious quest will be a farmable type quest so you're gonna have to play it over and over with the expectation of collecting enough to get it to max luck but good news is that for these kind of quests all monsters are treated as max luck monsters so you can play that anytime you do not need to wait for a monster strike day for this bonus everybody is always max luck for this stage so please don't be the fool going into a co-op game with a max luck monster just bring your ops and your side and it wouldn't be a collab without a little intricate thing to play around with. This time, we are going to be taking advantage of this foundation battle. You'll see that there is a grid of squares that are covered in fog of war, which you cannot see. You're going to be moving into this grid and trying to find an item, some enemies, and hopefully clear them all so that you can move on to clear all three maps to get all items and rewards. How does movement work? Well, Movement is based on energy and to move to a new space you have to use up a fuel a full energy cell Right you can see on the right that you have basically three energy cells that can contain energy split into halves as well Right one energy cell uh, sorry that should say half I apologize that each energy cell half regenerates each hour for a max of six All right so each half portion gets uh, revived every hour. Uh, so how does movement work in this game? Uh, oh, I, I, I knew it. I, I was like, I thought I changed that somewhere. I guess I didn't delete it on the previous uh, slide. Sorry for that. But um, so basically, how does movement work? Depending on what your next location is, uh, that will determine how much energy you spend. If it is a new location that you have to go through the fog of war into, and you know go there for the very first time that will cost a full energy cell a full circle will be used to move into that region however if you are moving into a previously visited location whatever reason maybe you did very bad pathing and you need to go back and cross your path again because you screwed up uh or sorry you didn't know that uh, but moving to a previously visited location will only cost half an energy cell right and like I said here, this is the correct uh, correct explanation. You can re regenerate a half energy cell every hour. So you are time gated a little bit. So, you know, keep an eye on your energy count. But, you know, basically, you know, if you wait three hours, you can move three spaces, essentially, assuming they're all new spaces. So that is how movement works in the little missionary. Now, in the fog of war you will possibly encounter these three special spaces the first space is a container and containers they have items in them uh, and specifically they have a collab good job sticker which you can pick uh, they will be different on uh, you know each map that you're going through remember there's three maps in total you need to discover and of course those maps are completely randomized for each player so just because my container was in you know row two cell row column five doesn't mean it's in that same location for you as well you may also encounter enemies when you encounter an enemy you will go into battle mode and you will need to complete a mission so that you can defeat that enemy once you defeat that enemy you will collect the item that it holds and then bank it for your game um now do note that i do believe you have to complete that mission before you can start moving again you can opt to uh 
run away from the mission, but you will uh, be placed back in your original position. Uh, and I do believe it does spend your energy. So please be careful about that. The last item that you can encounter while moving around is the search item. And if you collect the search item, it will mark the rest of the map for all of the re remaining hidden containers and enemies inside of the fog of war. So you can see on the example there that uh, you ran into the search box item and then it now indicates that there are items in the top left and the top right of that 3x3 grid. So um, you're not going to be able to figure out where it is. I'm sure once you are next to those respective points, you'll see it and be able to move on to it. But if you can find the search, I'm sure it'll make your life easier and uh, more efficient. And of course, what is a mission area without having some mission monster rewards? One of the characters that you can get from the rewards will feature uh, Diaka and their, his Lightning Buster Gundam. Uh, I mean, I definitely can't say that the Gundams don't look cool. So. Um, you'll be collecting him as you finish these missions. You can see on map one, completing all of the missions. Remember, defeating the enemies, finding and defeating them. You'll get 48 copies of him. On map two, you'll get 24 copies. And map three, you'll wrap up with 36 copies. And you can see that the uh, container prizes are on the top left, the good job stickers. And then, of course, when you finish the missions, you'll also get one item, which you can see on the bottom there. Uh, don't miss out on them, for sure. And that's not all. Once you complete a map, and completing means you found the container, you have defeated all enemies. Once that happens, it'll say mission clear, and then you move on to the next map. On completion of that, you will get another good job stamp along with a title that is themed with the Gundam collab. On map three, if you do that, you will pick up a very cool looking badge. Uh, that's the thing you see when you play co-op on the very right of uh, that panel. Uh, always looks cool and I think this one in particular looks really nice. Uh, you can also get an Ableberry scroll for finishing that off. And then let's take a look at the login collab monster. We've got Izak and her? Him? No. Her. Sorry, I don't know. I can't even tell what the romanization of the name. Uh, Izak's Dual Blitz Gundam uh, will be uh, the login bonus collab monster. Uh, you will get 10 copies per day um, and for days 2 and 4 you will be able to pick up a Tokudama as well. So make sure you don't miss out. Uh, easy way to get a Max Luck Monster and again if you love the series it's a simple way to get a Max Luck Monster. Now whether you're going to use it sometime in the future that's a different question but speaking of which uh, don't forget that uh, either of the pay pack monsters or the mission monster or your login monster will always function as a max luck monster for the duration of the Gundam collab. Um, it's just, that's how it works in Monster Strike. So uh, even if they're at one luck, they're, you bring them into your party as your leader monster, it's worth 99 luck at all times. However, if you want it to stay max luck, make sure you actually finish it properly. After the collab ends, they will go to their natural luck. And that is it for the collab. Of course, since we don't see that Strikers card, almost guaranteed that next week we're going to see something new to uh, a new quest so that we can finish that off or a mission perhaps. So keep your eyes out for that soon. Now, 20th of February, we'll be featuring uh, a Tokudama for the Gundam collab. So make sure you don't miss that. You can also pick up some other nice items that you can see on there. And also don't forget that February, February doesn't have a 30th. It does mean it will go to the last day of the month instead. And this year is a leap year, so we'll be able to take advantage of the 29th, which we haven't done in four years. Um, and there will be a special live stream featuring, uh, you know, something to do with the Gundam collab. We see Goja's teams on the left. We got Miyabo on the right. So that'll be a fun thing. Uh, I would not expect anything to be announced there, but Goja's is a big fan of Gundam. So uh, I'm sure I'm sure he will be uh, able to excel there. Uh, that stream will be on the 21st of February, 7 p.m. Japan time. 
And then of course, uh, we've got the Abyss coming back on February 21st. Uh, don't forget that there is the triple mission uh, campaign going on to celebrate that ninth year anniversary of the YouTube channel being set up. Clearing any five stages of the Abyss will earn you a guaranteed six star monster. Uh, so, you know, even if you're just starting out, this is basic. I think I can say with very conf high confidence that somebody can uh, help carry you uh, through that with no problem, even if you're struggling yourself. So, uh, I would say no problem at all. And then we did get a clip of the newest Gozetsu monster. We have UBD Giri. Sorry, UBD Giri uh, will be our next monster. The character looks scary as heck, but I like it. That art art style I'm liking with the Gozetsus and Reizetsus. Uh, his stage will be starting on the 24th of February at 8 p.m. Japan time. That is a Saturday. Uh, for those of you in Japan, so let's see how that quest goes and how difficult, how much we're gonna cry, on how difficult that is. Oh, I guess it's not a raise that too, so maybe it's not that bad. Uh, we got one transcension Kai this week. I don't know what they're doing with the pacing of their trans, you know, tr true transcension. It's super confusing to me. But we only get one transcension Kai this week. Will be Hozoin Ine. And here is his stats. We've got a demi hume bounce blast, super blast type, uh, anti gravity barrier, super anti damage wall, and mine super L for his main abilities. For his connect skill, we've got anti warp left position killer M and the bump combo boost. His requirement is one or more non demi hume class, and this is an and you see it in red, it needs one or more non blast type ones. Uh, so keep that in mind if you want them. I mean, there's a lot that you'd want from his uh, connect skills. The warp pillar on the left half of the screen at the M level, as well as bump combo boost is always nice. Um, strike shot, speed and power up, and he will remove gravity barriers of hit enemies for a set amount of turns. And his bump combo is all enemy lock on laser EL with the wood flavor. And his second bump combo is actually light. You get the super long sword swipe. And that is it for today. Next news will be at the same time as usual on next Thursday, 2 2 2, February 22nd. So make sure you don't miss out on that. And here is next week's Lucky Monsters. Uh, you can see Zark there on the right, bottom right, is uh, from the last collab. So hopefully you've got that to make your life easier. If not, uh, just get ready to farm that in the library. Although I think somebody was saying it was the, it might have been the daily quest. So if so. Wow. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. More than happy to answer them for you. Uh, what is it? Like, subscribe, ENG Monster on Twitter, slash X, and the link in the description for the Discord channel. Talk with other folks who love the game and speak English as well to help you out. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye. -bye.